I mean, AC is uh, whatever we need. Um, AC is kind of a Swiss Army knife, to be honest. You know, um, you know, if you need scissors, or if you need a wine opener, if you need a fingernail clipper, if you need a knife, um, he's all of that in one. Um, he can do it all. I mean, he just helps our ball club in so many different ways. He can bring the ball up, play the point. He can play off the ball. I mean, he's shooting, uh, you know, dead eye from the three this year, and he defends at a high level. You know, and. Uh, you know, and he doesn't make many mistakes. So, you know, you always can live with that. You can live with a guy on the floor like that and uh, just plays championship basketball. So you make him open your wine for you? No, I open my own wine. I open my own wine. I'm going to be honest. Uh, I would not let him open my wine, and that's no disrespect to him. But I, when it comes to my wine, I trust myself. <laughs> so we got a little Swiss Caruso for you. Whatever you need. He's got your back. Rob, would you let him open your wine? No, nah, man, no, nah, because, you know, I don't trust people. They might want to take a sip before I do. <laughs> it's my wine. I want, my old, I want the first sip. Big game with you? If, if he was purchasing it, he could, he could open it. Yeah. <laughs> wow. I must just be the kind one at this yeah, table. <laughs> if he, he going to buy me a bottle of wine, go ahead and open it up, big fella. AC, if you want to buy it, if you don't want to buy it, you can open my bottle of wine any day. Anyways, moving on. LeBron with compliments <laughs> for AC Fresh. On the flip side... Guys, I know it's a tall task, but James, you talk about it a lot. Numbers don't lie. When the two of them are on the floor, uh, they're pretty strong together. How much does AC Fresh compliment LeBron? You know, you know, on, on a physical quality way, they're, they're, they're not the same in talent, but they think alike. They think almost exactly alike. They have the same talent when it comes to how they think the game. AC's one of the best anticipators on defense. He always knows where the ball is going. He always seems to get deflections, get in passing lanes, deflections, the steals, whatever. Since he started to hit the three, he knows what it be when LeBron, just like that. You see that move right there? Uh, ball driving downhill. He took like five steps to be in, in space where he could be seen. So they think alike. And, you know, great minds think like they play. That's why they're so good together. They anticipate each other. They know each other going to be uh, w without even talking about it. They just kind of blend together. You know, most players in this league takes them a while to learn, but just positioning because LeBron knows it. AD knows it. AC Fresh knows it. If you look at that shot he took, he took his time to get to the corner. He didn't rush and it had a problem at setting his feet. A lot of these guys in this league, even KCP is learning this. You get to the corner and you get ready and then you shoot the rock. And, and AC Fresh, the only time he really exerts an enormous amount of energy is on the defensive end and that's in a good way. He gets up in guys, he bodies them, he knows how to use his hand. He's just thinking the game, he's being smarter and he knows how to use his body and that's half of the NBA. Yeah. Once you know how to use your body, it ain't always about talent. Mm -hmm. is how you use your body and how you think the game. You're simply playing the game the right way. Correct. No doubt. Lakers and Pistons are coming up at the top of the hour here on Spectrum Sportsnet. With AD out tonight, Kyle Kuzma will make his fifth start of the season. Good chance he has a little extra Ooh. as he's back in his native Michigan. We'll be right back. But first, a Mamba moment in the 2004 Finals. One of three triple doubles in Game 7 of an NBA Finals in league history. What's going on, Rob? Big game, James. You know what that means? Hey, What's going on? We got. We're hey, gonna do a little. Hey, when you big game, James, you got a promotion. And you have a game like that. Tell what we gotta do, Ellie. We're gonna break it down. Access 360 hey, style. We're going to the wall. Going to the wall. Hey, hey, brought we're to you by. To the big wall for this. Bro. I got to watch this. Big, big game, James deserves the flames. I baby. got to Let's watch this. Come on, Rob. Bring it down for me. Right here, you got Big Game James analyzing the situation. Right? What, what am I going to do? I'm going to get off to the races because I know Magic is going to get it to me. Look at Big Game James. Hey. You know what? He hits those brakes, man. He like, skirt right there, and he blows right by. If you hit brakes, what do they do? They fly right by, and James goes to the hole and finger roll. James, I still feel like you should have stuck it, but you didn't. Here we go. Next segment, right, right here. Look at James. James is like me. He's pointing to Kelly. Hey, illegal defense. Y'all don't know nothing about that. That's new school, old school right here. Now, you know Cap demands a lot of attention. What's James doing? He's eyeballing. He says, what am I going to do? Smart players just wait and react. Right there, he see the one of the best passes ever to play the game. Magic said, you know what? I'm going to cut to the hole because I know the Magic man is going to find me. Then what am I going to do? Oh, quick him. Quick him, James. Little, little jump, jump. Right there. Quick him over the top. Get up, Robin. Get up. Right here. Now you take him.
driving to the post. Driving to the post. You a good defense player. I don't Bounce think in the so. house. Because, hey, but look right here. James, who is this right here? Wes Matthews. Wes Matthews giving you some love right there. Now he's analyzing. Look, you got a little move right there. James, I was really disappointed you didn't even do the word to spin, but you kicked it out. But it's okay. Then you reestablish yourself. You know what? Never give up. You get one of your assists for your triple dub right That's there. Right. Man, That's right. Scott in the house. This is the best part Ooh. right here. Matt is backing down. Look at James Wait, This is the smartest thing. This is a rub cut. You go in, James. What you Ooh, do in life, you never step. give up. Whatever happens in life, you never give up. He missed his shot, but you didn't give up, James. Give me that. Get out of the way, Buddha. Get in. <laughs> go over the top. That's James there. Give that home on no booty. Here. Over the top, little baby hook. That's what I'm talking about right there. 360 flames for James. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Let's go, big game. Oh, you getting me excited, bro. <laughs> I told you. Man. Only in Detroit, baby. Detroit. We got to get visual. <laughs> flames for James. That made me feel good it. right there. That deserves it. <laughs> Heck yeah. Man, that memory's right there, Brad. Hey. Uh, Sometimes you... the Pistons bring back some special memories. That's though. right. Against the Pistons, man. That Hate make them. you want to suit up? <laughs> nah, yeah, I could. I could. <laughs> it stops right there. Be you got a new Because I got six fouls again. <laughs> if they let me foul like I did in the 80s, it would be very interesting, Rob. Outside yeah. of those highlights, give me one of your favorite memories. From that uh, series, from that game. Uh, from the Pistons? Yeah. <sighs> it was 88, and uh, the format was 2-3-2, two, two, and we went down... Three games to two in Detroit. We, we, we went down, we, you know, hard to beat them two in a row. But I remember us having a moment on the bus on the way to the airport. We were like, look, all we got to do is win game six. Magic, you know, Coop. And, you know, we're going back to the form. And, you know, Pat Riley was in a good mood. And we just knew we were going to take care of those two games. And that was the memory that, that stayed with me. The conversation we had on the bus, on the plane. And then in, in game six, we took care of business. We knew it was going to be over in game seven. And I knew Kareem was still, you know, producing, but I knew he was getting a little older. And I knew it was my time. I knew it was my time to step up. So thank you for that 360. I'm rejuvenated all of a sudden. <laughs> Felt like your first kiss with your teenage girlfriend? <laughs> Sixth grade. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to say who it was, but I remember it very Sixth well. Grade. Who was it, James? Uh, <laughs> Young lady, man, I'm not gonna do that to her. <laughs> I got your back. I got your back, cause Rob. Yes. That energy. Let's take it into your history with the Pistons. 2005, Game Five. Do I get to break it down? Oh. You should have. You break that one down Ooh, right there. You take it to the house and you dunk on him. Pump fake. See, that's what happens when you are a great shooter like Big Shot Rob. <laughs> they go for that pump fake and then he leans in with the left, Rob. You almost missed that one. <laughs> that's what I was you about almost to missed say. that one. But you stuck it, nevertheless. <laughs> what, Big, oh, your shoulder hurt, Rob? Hey, I, I tried to, I, I did the stretch arm. It was. You did, too you, far did, out. you did stretch out. <laughs> yeah, that's my the last dunk of your career? Uh, no, I, I think I got it. Watch that him line. stretch out. <laughs> oh. Hey, sometimes you know you you go above and above your uh, above and beyond your limitations right here. I think I was almost there, James. Almost. Well, you I got was it. a little you too late. It. I almost did the LeBron right there and got hung. The only, the only <laughs> thing wrong about that play was you, uh, you're in a San Antonio jersey. I know, my bad, man. I, my bad. But you got rings. <laughs> uh, what was this? Well, you know, sometimes you 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 do not leave the hottest man on the court. And by that time, I was the hottest man on the court. Humble at that. Oh, no doubt. You know, I was shooting that thing then, Allie. What ring oh. was that for you? What ring number? That was number five. I mean, I'm six. Uh, I forget, Allie. It, it was one of it was one of the seven. Who cares? <laughs> oh my God! Too many to count. <laughs> Chris, oh. twenty plus years as a writer. What's your favorite Detroit moment? 